Hello everyone and welcome to my Nextcloud Single Sign-On for Android talk here at the conference. Um, some of you might remember that I gave this talk two years ago um, and today I want to talk a little about, about our experience and the journey we've took ever since and if the ideas that we had back in the days were actually working out. So let's do a quick recap of um, what was the issue that we tried to solve. So for users, uh, if you want to get started using Nextcloud, it would be you also want to set up different Nextcloud apps on your Android phone. And to do that, you have to log in into each of those apps and they all have a different login dialog, different layout. They ask you some questions about your setup, which is quite a hassle um, to, to do and it takes a lot of time. So a lot of users complained about this issue. Um, for developers, if you want to get started with Nextcloud apps, you have to implement the whole network stack. You need to uh, look into self-signed certificate support, proxies. If Nextcloud is releasing a new uh, login method, for example, the, the two-factor authentication, um, you need to implement that at well at some, as well at some point. Um, and there are many more issues that I've went into detail in my talk from 2018. So feel free to, to check that out. Um, the solution we've came up with is, uh, is the single sign-on system, which is a centralized login method. So for users, it's, it's easy to log in into different kinds of apps into all Nextcloud apps, uh, which is a matter of three taps, as I'll show you just in a second. And um, it will also handle network connections for you. So as a developer, you don't need to worry about implementing those login mechanisms or the self-signed certificate supports, etc. Um, the single sign-on system also stores uh, login data in a secure way for you. So apps don't have direct access to your login data anymore and apps can only make requests to your Nextcloud server by using a token that they received from the single sign-on system. Um, and uh, what's new is that we've uh, created a retrofit um, API that if you already have a, a retrofit API specifications, you can just switch over to the Nextcloud single sign-on system and we'll be able to pick up those API specifications for retrofit. So which apps are actually using it? So on the Play Store right now, we have three apps that are using the single sign-on feature and they're already using it for almost two years now. Uh, so it's the News app, the Deck app and the Notes app. Uh, and our users are loving it so far. We, we hear great feedback from them that it's easy to log in now and that it makes fun to actually like switch accounts and do other things with it. Let me show you how it works now. So when you start the app for the first time, it will show your login screen where you have like one button which says like log in using Nextcloud Files app. And if you click that button, it will show you a list of all the accounts that you have installed or set up in your Nextcloud Files app. So then you can choose one of them and click on OK. And then it will show you a dialogue asking you if you want to grant permission to that account um, for this specific app to access it. And if you click on allow, there will be a token um, exchange between those two apps. So um, the Nextcloud News app then will be able to, to access, your, access your Nextcloud server. <clears throat> so let's summarize uh, our experience or what, what the reality looks like. Um, from a developer's perspective, we didn't have to, to worry about login, security and, and, and network related issues anymore because all of this is handled now by the Nextcloud single sign-on system. And for all three apps that I've mentioned before, we had very few issues reported on GitHub about the, the single sign-on system. So this was a, a huge benefit for us because our, our issues before that were, um, that there were a lot of issues that were related to network related issues or self signed certificates or, or all kinds of like network related stuff. So this is all gone now and we, we only had a very few issues on the single sign-on system. From a user's perspective, it's, it's now way easier to log into multiple apps because it's just a matter of three, t uh, three taps as you just saw. Uh, the unified user experience is, is also a thing that you have in all the apps, the login dialogs looks the same and uh, users are actually requesting other apps that don't use single sign-on yet to integrate it. So users are also loving it. So to get involved, um, there's our contact information here and the GitHub uh, page. Um, so a huge thanks to everyone that was involved. 
uh, especially to be a Stefan Arthur. Otherwise, the project wouldn't be what it is today. And uh, we are still looking for developers to, to check it out and to integrate it into your app. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact us and enjoy the conference.